Hey, in this screencast, we're going to continue with the grid from the previous one, as it still has an issue we need to fix. Because if we make this grid narrow like this, and have a look at the rows that are created beneath the two rows we defined, we'll see that they're not acting the way we want them to. They're not 100 pixels in height, which we defined here. They're only as tall as the content inside of them force them to be. And that's because they are implicitly created. Because as you can see here, we only explicitly created two rows. However, with our current defined behavior for the columns, we are going to need somewhere to place these items which can't fit in our explicit grid up here. So from five and onwards, we need to create new rows automatically in order to display our items. And as we haven't told our grid how we want to style rows that it has to add to the grid itself, it just has to decide for itself how these rows are going to look. So let's fix this. Because we can target these rows by simply doing grid auto rows and set the value to 100 pixels. And now, as you can see, they're just how we want them to be. You can see that as well. Grows and shrinks nicely with all rows always being 100 pixels tall. And now that we've defined this one, we can actually get rid of this one like that. Now all rows will be created implicitly and they'll always be 100 pixels tall. So in the next screencast, we're going to tie all the concepts you've learned up until now together and create a super cool image grid. So I'm looking forward to see you there.